the OnePlus Nord CE4. This phone has been getting a lot of buzz for its mid-range price tag and some flagship features. It has been two months since its launch and in this video, we'll be looking at whether this is a best budget all-rounder or not. Hi guys, I'm your host Shomit Seth and welcome back to another video. The OnePlus Nord CE4 doesn't stray too far from the OnePlus design language. We have got the same plastic bag but this time with a cool shimmering wave design that catches the light nicely. The phone looks premium at the first glance though it's a plastic build. It's 8.4mm thick and quite lightweight even though it packs a bigger battery. It's IP54 rated so it can easily handle light splashes. Anything more than that might ruin it. Apart from that, at the top we get a IR blaster, USB-C port, SIM slot and speaker grill at the bottom and volume and power button at the right side. And the left side is empty. There is no alert slider which is disappointing. However, if compared to competitors with flashier designs, it feels a tad generic. The Nord CE4 rocks a 6.43 inch AMOLED panel with a 90Hz refresh rate. The content explodes with vibrant colors and deep blacks making everything from scrolling social media to binge watching your favorite shows a pleasure. This 10-bit panel offers exceptional color output for the price, further enhanced by the HDR10 Plus support for an exceptional binge watching experience. The display is even aqua touch enabled allowing for easy use even in the rain. The phone automatically switches between 60, 90 and 120Hz depending on the use case to save battery but you can easily set it to always on 120Hz and enjoy the buttery smooth gaming experience. This smartphone is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G processor which is a great processor at this price point which is 5G enabled. This processor is really great for handling everyday tasks such as messaging, browsing and social media. It handles things flawlessly. I played COD Mobile on this smartphone at high settings and the phone was able to provide a pretty smooth gaming experience but I faced a lot of heating issue when played for longer time period. The high temperatures in Noida can be a factor to it but still it was a little unusual for the phone to get this hot in just 30 minutes of gameplay. The Nord CE4 runs on Oxygen OS 14 powered by Android 14 which offers a clean and bloatware free experience. OnePlus promises 2 years of Android updates and 3 years of security updates which is decent for a mid-range phone. Overall, in terms of performance, this smartphone is capable enough to handle multitasking and day-to-day -day tasks. But when it comes to gaming, personally, the heating issue is a major setback. Otherwise, this phone was able to give a pretty smooth gaming experience. Talking about the cameras, the smartphone is offering the same standard specs for a mid-range smartphone. A 50 megapixel main camera, a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Up on the screen are some clicks straight from this camera setup. Well, considering the price, the smartphone is actually able to click decent photos. The photos appear natural and usable with good amount of detail. Obviously, lesser details in the ultra wide shots due to a 8 megapixel sensor, but still, I would not say it's bad but it could have been better. The selfie camera is okay, not too great. Talking about the video, the camera is able to do 4K at 30fps without OIS and 1080p with OIS on the main camera and 1080p with selfie camera. Overall, it can cook average videos, decent for the price it has been offered at. One area where the Nord CE4 shines is its battery life. The massive 5500mAh battery paired with the efficient processor delivers excellent endurance. You can easily get through a full day of moderate usage on a single charge. The phone also supports 100W fast charging which is a lifesaver when you are running low on juice. Compared to its predecessor the Nord CE3, this is a massive improvement making it a great option for heavy users at this price point. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. This was our take on the Nord CE4. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Any queries or questions, the comment section is always open for discussion. My name is Shomit Seth and I'll see you around in my next video. Peace.